everyone. If you're wondering why am I dressed like that, it's just because today's video is a little bit special. I was planning it for a little bit and I'm actually dressed as one of my characters from a live game in which I took part this summer and if you're interested to know a little bit more about it, you may check down below a video that I made with the photos from the event and this event was a mix of Once Upon a Time meets American Gods meets Fable and my character was Sleeping Beauty. So I decided to add this character together with some books that I recently bought about Sleeping Beauty and some wonderful teas that I received from Novelty Company. And first of all, I wanted to share with you the amazing package. There is so much care put into it and it's just so evident that I decided to film this video and then in the future I will probably film a second one because this one will be Sleeping Beauty themed and the next one will be a Beauty and the Beast filmed kind of video. I have four books to show you and today we will taste together three teas from Novelty Company. So today I want to test with you, of course, the Sleeping Beauty tea that I got in a full-sized package and this is a herbal tea and behind it says we've kept it symbol in this classic tea in order to honor the well-loved tale of the princess who pricks her finger on a spinning wheel and falls asleep with dreamy lavender, soothing peppermint and rose petals to honor her name, Briar Rose. This is a tea to drink when you feel like sleeping for 100 years. And for this very first cup of tea, let's keep it simple and let's go with the classical Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. Here I have this wonderfully illustrated copy. This is a Sleeping Beauty illustrated by Kimiko Craft and she is an amazing illustrator and it's just the basical classical fairy tale with the illustrations inside. They are just amazing and this is such a beautiful copy to own. I mean, you have the classical story, you have everything, but then the illustrations are really the thing that sets this wonderful copy apart. So if you want to own a classical kind of Sleeping Beauty copy, this is a very, very beautiful one to have and to cherish. And now let's get to the Sleeping Beauty cup of tea. And here is the first cup of tea, the Sleeping Beauty tea created by Jasmine from Novelty Co. And if you don't know, Jasmine is a fellow booktuber. Her channel is so cozy and so wonderful. She's full of new ideas, great concepts. And if you want to support a fellow booktuber, then you definitely may check out her tea company and now they are launching a tea plus book subscription box so i mean it's just perfect and let's give a try to this tea first of all the smell is just pure lavender so it's very soothing lavender has this soothing kind of power relaxing kind of power it's not a dark tea, it's herbal, so it will stay very, very clear. The water won't get very dark. Let's try it out. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the taste is very, I don't know, I just have to say relaxing and soothing because it tastes like lavender with just a little 
like a little bit of rose and of peppermint so that it's not a fully lavender taste you actually may feel the peppermint which is a little bit fresher so it's not it's not a taste that will bother you at the end it's not very intense yeah, I genuinely do believe that this kind of herbal tea is actually perfect like that hot cup that you will drink before going to bed with a nice story just right there on the night table next tea that I have here is actually one of the samples that she sends to you and this is the autumn court tea and again it says that it's a herbal tea and behind it says it might have something to do with the fact that autumn is our favorite season but we think that with a better family running the place the autumn court would be one of the best courts in Prithian <laughs> that's why we created something here that captures all of our favorite things about autumn cinema spice apple pie and the scent of fallen leaves okay i've been already sold on the first word like cinnamon is one of my favorite things ever so for what i get this will be a very autumnal kind of brew i mean it has all of the perfect fall elements in it <laughs> so i do believe that i will enjoy this one so let's give it a taste Since this tea had cinnamon in it, then I decided to go with something with a bit of a twist. And here I have The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Chris Riddle. This again is a beautifully illustrated book. Just let me give you a peek inside. It's very whimsical and beautiful. And if you followed my channel for a little bit, then you probably already know that I'm a huge Neil Gaiman fan. I love how he writes, I love the amount of imagination that he puts into his stories. And from the back, I just will read to you. She was one of those forest witches, driven to the margins a thousand years ago, and a bad lot. She cursed the babe at birth, such that when the girl was 18, she would prick her finger and sleep forever. And now it's time to actually taste this tea. So, mm, the smell is that of apples and cinnamon and it's just the smell of autumn, really autumn and just a hint of Christmas probably, <laughs> if it makes any sense. The color is a nice yellow color. I don't think that I may show it to you properly right now, but let me taste it. Again, there is something that's a little bit sweet and a little bit fresh at the same time, so it's very pleasant and not a very strong flavor. I mean, it smells of cinnamon more than it tastes, so if you're afraid of the strong taste of cinnamon, then this tea would be actually perfect for you, because I cannot feel it that much. Okay, probably because I'm comparing it to some Indian teas that are like cinnamon right in your face. <laughs> this is a herbal tea, so it's not very strong, it's not dark, and I do believe that this will be a great tea for the evening autumn court, thumbs up. And I actually still have to read this Sarah J. Mass book. So if the story is as good as the tea is good, then I will read the story. Before getting to the next tea, I actually have a bonus book. It's a collection of stories, so it's an anthology written by five different authors and it's called Five Magic Spindles and we have a collection of five different stories. I just was intrigued by the cover, that's beautiful in my opinion, and by the fact that behind it says one way or another these beauties have no intention of slipping away their problems. And 
I'm all about it. I'm very interested because, I mean, the classical Disney movie is a little bit bland just because the main protagonist, she appears at the beginning and then throughout all of the action she sleeps and then she wakes up and she marries a man and so she has no fundamental role in the story, she's like kind of a vice for the prince and here I'm really interested in seeing a different take of this story. And the very last tea that I have here for today is Jane Eyre. And it's a herbal black tea, so I left it as the last one because I'm quite sure that it will have the strongest flavor among them all. And behind it says Jane Eyre may seem poor, plain and little, but any who know her personality will say that she is fierce, independent and loyal beyond compare. A quintessential British lady with an extra dash of passion and willpower. This tea aims to capture her softer and more caring side, along with her bold and fiery spirit. And here we have Earl Grey tea, lavender and rose petal. And here we are with the very last Sleeping Beauty themed book and it's Spindles and written by Robin McKinley and from what I got this is a pretty old book and it's very very long, it's like almost 400 pages long and it's a Sleeping Beauty retelling, a Briar Rose retelling, so I'm very curious to get to it and to know how it is possible to have such a long story about a so well-known fairy tale. And do you like retellings in general? Do you prefer like faithful retellings or something completely different? Like for example, I don't know, the Lunar Chronicles that are retellings technically, but they are completely different from the original version of the fairy tale. So, without further ado, let me get to the very last tea. So, as expected, this one is a lot more colorful since it has actually tea leaves in it and the smell is exactly like Sleeping Beauty, just stronger and let's give it a taste. This perfume is just lavender, <laughs> like all of a sudden, while the taste is just delicate and pleasant. And it's a little bit sweet. I love it! Again, it's a quite delicate tea, but I knew it in choosing them. I've chosen all delicate teas without very strong notes in them. Maybe one day I will try something strong. But these, all of these teas, they are quite perfect for the evening when you want to relax and just to feel that kind of soothing feeling and to feel a kind of embrace and hug around you. These teas are just amazing for that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please let me know down below if you are a tea lover, what is your favorite kind of tea and if you love Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I wish you a very pleasant and relaxing night because I love sleeping, of course. <laughs> no pun intended, no, yeah, it was intended. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye! Ciao!